Hi guys, what's up? And today I am going to announce my new demon level. So, um, you guys might remember I've completed Theory of Everything 2. Um, so, um, my new demons, uh, my new demon is not going to be, it's not going to be Speed Racer, it's not going to be X, not Death Moon, um, and, um, and also, like, not, like, eh, um, any other online levels. Instead, I'm going to try and complete Deadlocked, which is the last level I need to complete to com for me to complete all of the main Geometry Dash levels. So, um, I'm just going to do some practice runs um, today. So, let's go. I'll do some normal loads to see, like, to, like, show you, like, so I, I, I've like, I can like get to the, I, I can do this first cube, this first cube is pretty easy. This wave section is pretty annoying, but I, I can get through it sometimes. Like 50% of the time I die there and 50% of the time I get through. I can get through pretty easily, and then the UFO, I, I, it, it's really hard for me to remember the click pattern on, on the UFO, but I, I can like react to it pretty good, so I just have to like focus at that part. Let's do some runs from a start position. Let's do it from 87. So I think like the end part is mostly pretty easy. Um, it might be because I've practiced it a lot, but but this ship is really annoying. Like this is one of the parts I hate the most. And if you've completed Deadlock, you probably agree to me on this because I just hate this part. But if but once I like, once I've like done it a bit, it, I, I, I can like remember it a bit. But it's still really annoying. And it's because there's like so much movement. I can't like keep up to it. Just practice the dual wave. I actually find the dual all right, and also with the mini wave, I like I'm actually pretty fine with this. But then, like the next part is just absolute trash. Let's go 64. I'm like good with the boss fight, and then this, you already know, I, I'm alright with it as well. The mini wave is a bit weird though, sometimes. I'll do it from 56, because this shit part I sometimes can't do, so let's do this.
but yeah, I do sometimes die to the dual wave. It's not like the easiest part of the level, I'd say. And and of course, like it's like near the end of the level, around like the same place as like TOE2 Death Ship, right? So I mean, you've got like the pressure on you. There. The ship pops. The, that ship part's all right. Sometimes, like, um, I die in the boss fight. Um, like when the bars go away, it's just like something that happens. Like, it sometimes does it and sometimes doesn't. Yeah, I can get through that most of the time. That wave's a bit annoying. And also, I've made another copy of ball here, which has no start position, and it's actually for no-clip accuracy ones. So if you don't know what no-clip accuracy is, it's basically where you like have like a certain like you you can no-clip, but if you like go under like a certain percent of of like accuracy to the level then you die so it's, so in my opinion i think it's a good way of like practicing so let's do this and i don't think i did this with toe 2 but i'm doing this with dead World. and it's making um practice runs a lot easier and i think you'll be able to see the my percentage in the top left corner, up there, where my frames per second and clicks per second are. I'm fine with this ball part. This cube part is just like, you just have to remember it and react to it at the right time. I hate when it does that. My best is actually 95. I haven't done it higher than that yet. But yeah. I'm pretty confident that I can do like 97 soon. part is too hard but I mean you could die in this part you know. It's not like a major choke point but I feel like it's possible to die there a bit. For some reason, I remember the ship part better when I'm doing accuracy runs rather than like start position runs for some reason. That's just how it is for me. But yeah, that's 96% accuracy. And then we can check the deaths here where like we would have died, but like. Let's do it this time with 97. I think we can do that. Right now we're doing actually we're actually doing pretty good. Oh my! I 
messed up a bit there. Which means now I have to focus a bit. pretty confident about this so yeah I have practiced a bit before this video but like I haven't practiced much but I feel like we can actually get some progress on deadlocked right now I'm only at 26 but like I can definitely improve on that That is actually really good. 60. I, I didn't expect to get that far. Wow. 63. That's actually really good. That is really good right there. 63%. You saw I had like 28% earlier. And now I'm at 63. Wow, that's, that's really good actually. I think I'll do like a few more no normal ru mode runs and then and then I'll do some like um, start position runs after and then probably end the video. That's like a massive fluke right there. Okay. I think this will be the last normal mode right now. some start position runs then. Oops. Okay. So, wait, no, I don't want to do that one. Okay. I think, um, I'll go from 56 because, like, this is the section where I died, so. If we practice here, then we can, like, you know, like, be ready for this section.
63% is by far the best row I've had so far. Ah, oh, I hate that shit part. Rooftop really likes putting impossible shit parts at the end of demon levels. Because there's like an 87% in club step that the one where you like change gravity midway from going up, right? And then there's the TOE2 ship, which everyone knows. And then we've got the deadlocked moving parts ship. I think we've, we're good with this part. Let's go from 73 now. Okay, let's just go from here. Okay, there we go. Okay, 79 to 100 and 63%. I think that is a good way to end off this video. So I'm going to end it here. If you guys like the video, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe if um, to not to not miss the newest upload and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!